The GeForce RTX 50 series is here. In this product overview, we are going to go over the new capabilities that the series brings, including DLSS 4, FP4 image generation, a new 9th gen NVIDIA encoder, and much more. Plus, we'll take a look at performance benchmarks on the GeForce RTX 5090. The RTX 50 series offers amazing performance for gamers, creators, and AI workloads. In fact, the GeForce RTX 5090 is up to two times faster than the RTX 4090, delivering 4K 240Hz with full ray tracing in the latest games for the first time ever. First, let's talk about the new NVIDIA Blackwell architecture that powers the GeForce RTX 5090. This GPU has new 5th gen tensor cores that can deliver over 3,300 AI tops with FP4. It also features new 4th gen ray tracing cores with increased performance that accelerate mega geometry and full ray tracing. Plus, new 9th gen video encoders and 6th gen decoders feature faster video editing with support for 422 professional formats, smoother playback, and enhanced HEVC and AV1 live streaming quality. So what does this all mean? Unbelievable performance and the ultimate tool set for gamers and creators. Now let's talk about DLSS 4. It's our biggest advancement to DLSS since 2020, bringing enhancements to the entire suite of DLSS technologies. Let's start with ray reconstruction, super resolution, and DLAA, which all get a new and more sophisticated transformer model that improves image quality and stability for all GeForce RTX users. This model uses four times more tensor core processing power for improved context awareness to reconstruct better than before, delivering incredible image quality. Next is frame generation, which was first introduced on the RTX 40 series. Frame generation uses game engine and pixel data to generate a single frame in between traditionally rendered frames. With the RTX 50 series, we're introducing multi-frame generation, which can generate up to three frames per rendered frame for incredible performance. In fact, DLSS 4 can provide up to an 8x performance boost compared to traditional native rendering. With the Blackwell architecture, the display engine was improved to leverage flip metering when generating multiple frames, ensuring that the GPU delivers consistent and optimal frame pacing. Additionally, the 5th gen tensor cores have the computational horsepower necessary to quickly execute the series of AI models that calculate optical flow and generate multiple frames. DLSS multi-frame generation will have day zero support for over 75 games. DLSS multi-frame generation also enhances the real-time viewport experience in creative apps like D5 Render, enabling designers to better iterate and collaborate on their work. Also, there's a new enhanced single frame generation model for RTX 40 and 50 series, bringing increased performance and lower memory usage. All of the new DLSS 4 enhancements like multi-frame generation and the new transformer model can be enabled through the DLSS model preset menu on NVIDIA app. Next up is NVIDIA Reflex 2. NVIDIA Reflex was first introduced in 2020 and today is supported in over 100 titles. On average, reflex low latency can increase responsiveness by up to 50% by optimizing the rendering pipeline. Reflex 2 adds frame warp technology, which updates the rendered frame based on the most recent mouse input right before it is sent to the display, significantly reducing latency. In fact, Reflex 2 with frame warp can further reduce latency by up to an additional 50%. The resulting experience is more responsive, improving your ability to aim and ultimately hit more shots. Reflex 2 with Frame Warp will be available soon. Now let's take a closer look at our newest flagship graphics card, the GeForce RTX 5090 Founders Edition, which is also the fastest dual slot card in the world. The RTX 5090 has 32 gigabytes of ultra fast GDDR7 memory running at 28 gigabits per second. It supports PCI Express 5.0, which has a maximum bandwidth of 32 giga transfers a second, double that of PCI Express 4.0. The GeForce RTX 5090 is equipped with three 9th generation video encoders and two 6th generation decoders for significantly faster video exports and enhanced live streaming. And it supports DisplayPort 2.1b with UHBR20 in three ports capable of outputting up to 16K resolution or 4K resolution at 480 Hertz. 
Power is delivered through a single 16-pin 12V 2x6 power input, and it is recommended to have a 1,000-watt power supply. The GeForce RTX 5090 Founders Edition also has an innovative cooler with a double flow-through design that is extremely space-efficient by reinventing the graphics card PCB layout, splitting it into four separate components. The Founders Edition cooler also uses a 3D vapor chamber design with integrated heat pipes as opposed to soldered heat pipes, which makes heat transfer more efficient. To further increase surface area and thermal efficiency, curved active pins are added to the top of the vapor chamber, which regulate pressure drop. And on the RTX 5090, liquid metal thermal interface material is applied to the GPU, which is four times more thermally conductive, leading to lower temperatures. And best of all, all of this is packed into a two-slot SFF-ready form factor that allows you to install it into some of the leading mini ITX chassis on the market. Just look how much smaller it is than last generation's RTX 4090. Of course, the GeForce RTX 5090 also delivers incredible performance. Let's check out Cyberpunk 2077, which is an open-world action-adventure RPG set in the dark future of Night City. This game features NVIDIA DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation, ray reconstruction, full ray tracing, and more. The new Transformer AI model powering super resolution and ray reconstruction offers significantly improved image quality. So for all of our testing today, we are using DLSS Super Resolution enabled. Additionally, all of our testing in this video has multi-frame generation enabled when available to show the full capabilities of the Blackwell architecture and RTX 50 series. For comparison, we show RTX 40 series with frame generation. You can see the RTX 5090 delivers over 250 frames per second with multi-frame generation. For comparison, the RTX 4090 does around 110 frames per second at these same settings. Now let's take a look at Indiana Jones in the Great Circle. In this first-person, single-player adventure, you step into the boots of Indiana Jones to find the secret to the ancient power connected to the Great Circle. You can see that the RTX 5090 delivers 200 frames per second with multi-frame generation. In fact, this is 115% faster than the RTX 4090 at these same settings with standard frame generation. Next up is Alan Wake 2, which is a psychological survival horror game and in continuation to the Alan Wake franchise. The RTX 5090 is able to perform at over 260 frames per second with multi-frame generation, compared to an RTX 4090, which gets 110 frames per second. And here is Black Myth Wukong, which is an action RPG that is rooted in Chinese mythology with gorgeous visuals and epic battles. The RTX 5090 performs at over 200 frames per second with multi-frame generation enabled. The RTX 4090 does around 100 frames per second. In addition to gaming, the RTX 5090 is packed with AI horsepower for AI hobbyists and developers. The Blackwell architecture's new tensor cores can deliver over 3,300 AI tops of compute. Blackwell also supports FP4, which allows you to compress AI models, achieving two times performance with half the VRAM compared to last generation using FP16. This enables you to run multiple state-of-the-art models at once. Additionally, an all-new shader core pipeline is optimized for neural rendering, including cutting-edge tech for materials, lighting, and compression all enhanced by AI. Also, it's designed to run the latest generative AI models with NVIDIA NIM microservices and AI blueprints, giving you the tools to create and explore exciting new AI workflows. For content creators, the three ninth generation NVIDIA encoders can be used in parallel to export videos faster, giving video editors 50% faster video exports compared to the RTX 4090. There's also 422 encode and decode support for professional video formats, improved AV1 and HEVC quality, and even a new AV1 ultra high quality mode that boosts video quality even further. Live streamers can also take advantage of the NVIDIA broadcast app update to turn any room into a home studio. Studio Voice upgrades your mic to deliver premium audio quality, and Virtual Key Light automatically relights your face to reduce shadows and keep you evenly lit during your live streams. It will be available in February. And 3D artists will get amazing render performance from the updated ray tracing cores and DLSS4, as well as access to RTX Remix, our platform to remaster classic games. 
There are even more awesome AI-powered features in the RTX platform. Project G-Assist was first shown as a tech demo at Computex 2024 and will soon be available as an experimental feature for GeForce RTX users. With simple voice or text commands, G-Assist can tune and optimize your system settings and customize your peripherals, all powered locally by your GeForce RTX 5090. And speaking of apps, the NVIDIA app is the essential companion for PC gamers and creators. It has new features like a faster and more responsive interface, DLSS model overrides, RTX HDR and dynamic vibrance, a redesigned in-game overlay, and much more. We're constantly developing new features and capabilities, and the NVIDIA app is your home for stable and secure game-ready and studio drivers. The GeForce RTX 5090 is just the beginning of the neural rendering era with performance overhead to unlock new levels of visual fidelity and interactions that will power the games of tomorrow, like Mega Geometry for neural shaders enabling unbelievably detailed environments, characters, and objects, Digital Humans for lifelike interactions in games, and RTX Hair and Skin for incredibly realistic characters in games. As you can see, the RTX 5090 delivers incredible performance and a broad suite of features. DLSS 4 enables 4K 240Hz with full ray tracing for the ultimate immersive gaming experience. The NVIDIA Studio platform offers next-level RTX and AI accelerated tools and enhancements for creators, from video editing to live streaming and beyond. The RTX 5090 and the RTX 5080 will be available January 30th, and soon to follow will be the RTX 5070 Ti and 5070. Check out GeForce.com to learn more.